I'm starting off with Petko here in the wall map. Wipe yourself off. You're dead. Prepare to fight. And there we go. We start map one of our grand Round finals. Pepco on the map with some, some two, up and down flicks and one. some spins. Fight. And here we roll. Pepco spawns in banana and rushes to the mega health straight away. This is the second time we have this, uh, this matchup. Yeah. Oh, right. um, uh, Pepco, uh, yeah. Boom, yeah. Pepco did some tribal uh, damage. Yeah, and now the stacks are fairly equal. Just need some rockets, yeah. Dantes knows it and says, ah, if you want it, you gotta pay for it. Attacks him with a rail, but ah, Pepco we... returns the favor. Gets one back, yeah. Oh! <laughs> Oh, no, Dantes and, and Pepco both are very, very much in danger to rails because of the lack of armor. Yeah, and it's basically an awoken standoff. Pepco has 5 HP! Dantes too! What the? <laughs> okay, I think it just shattered up a little bit there. Uh, and Pepco just misses the opportunity of the first frag. When he removes the mega health right after Dentius picks it up. Dentius yeah, basically right got a plus 10 HP out of the mega health right there. And now the tables are turned because Dentius hits a great rail again. Now you can... But... Oh! oh my god! Yeah, we will not save him because Pepco hits two great rails in a row. Pepco is fucking scary! <laughs> so underdog here today takes the, takes the lead, huh? Would be quite an upset if he wins in my books. Yeah, I, I would like to see that though. Huh? I'm always, always uh, happy if an underdog is uh, Ooh, nice... Uh... Rocket there, on, yeah, and uh, Dunce uh, is missing uh, rails. That's uh, <laughs> not what we are uh, used to. Yeah. Or is it Pepco who is dodging them like a champ? Ooh, that. How did that run? Uh, indeed. Yeah, that is a bit questionable. Maybe they play oh on the. Oh my god! Game. Yeah, he comes in with his hard aim, man. Ooh. 70 HP. Even though it felt super dominant how Pepco played the last minute, the frag lead is not showing that at all. Oh, and his tribal is missing there. So this is uh, the first rotation that uh, Dunches uh, takes. Uh, but his armor. Yeah, but Pepco is uh, doing some great damage after it. He's only overstacked on health right now. What a rail. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, the follow up <laughs> oh. And they meet each okay. other on different sides of the teleporter. Yeah, Pepco is, isn't uh, in position to uh, contest any items here. Yeah, but we've, we've seen his defensive play, it's quite, quite, uh, oh. quite strong, and again, there's a good rocket which goes unreturned, almost equaling the stacks, but now he has no rockets anymore, misses the rail, and Dunches feels free to push a little, and pushes him back to the telly again. Oh my god! Dunches used the timing of the rocket very well to cover up his double jump sound. But now he will lose all the heavy armor. And he might go down here because he took a rail and has no armor left. And Pepco is blocking the small as well. But it is so dangerous to step left right when you come out of the teleport there. Yeah. <laughs> so many times I jump off the map, it's fucking annoying. I think I did it today also. Walk off the map on the left side there. I did it in one of my duels here today. I got 3100 hours in this game and I'm still walking off the map like a fucking idiot. 
Uh, up calls, I need some uh, LG ammo. Yeah, when, when you're out of control on the map and looking for defensive damage, getting ammo is quite, quite a trouble sometimes. Each now Pepco is really on the back foot. He took that rail after picking up the small armor. Five minute warning. He's doing a great job uh, of holding Densher back. Oh! <laughs> so how did that rogue not hit him? And then again he gets he gets a major item because Dungeon is looking for the frag so much. Oh, Doom Dover jumps up, that's what yeah. Smart. Mm -hmm. A little bit of oh. and some great LG to follow up. And oh just... yeah. I'm the shotgun! Yeah, Mega Health was uh, too far away uh, for Dentures to uh, gamble on that one. Yeah. Oh. That just got blown up by like a bomb right now. Pepco uh, played this uh, expertly. He was uh, out of control for most of the time. And as soon as he uh, gets in control, he gets uh, the wow. frag. And another one. I'm really amazed how well out of control Pepco is playing. Like, he does so much unreturned damage. Even though now it looks Oh like my god. god. The dungeon is still up behind him. Fucking still alive, that's unbelievable. Wow, he's a ninja! How? How is he always coming out on top in these trades and he gets another heavy? This is then just out of uh, real ammo. <laughs> like the timing! Oh, oh no! Oh, this is not happening! Four zero lead and another rail. Holy and another. Then he just goes in and takes it. No. Dan what are you doing, dude? It was one nil up until five minutes, and then he just added up four four more cracks in two. Pepo so just goes five super tired and takes everything. Oh, that's just sick. Let's add it. That one. <laughs> First map goes to Pepco. Nice. Dunchess didn't even say anything. No, I think he got it up. That was uh, holy shit. What a strong performance. Damn. Did not see that much. I didn't, uh, would never have thought that it would be so dominating. That, that was, uh, that was insane play by Pepco here in the end there. Uh... Not even with the double jump he could get away from him or anything. That was insane. That was really well played. Yeah, I I think he raced quite a lit there. Well, we all get that sometimes, but that was fucking insane. Holy crap. That was some so that was a pro level performance from Pepco here. Yeah, that was very dominating. Very well deserved victory as well. Indeed. Now let's see if Dan Chester can come back here against a Galena and drop the keep. That, that can be very difficult if he if she gets all her totems up. <laughs> Walking around yeah. with a little pocket heavy there, you know, uh, pocket mega. But the ranger has the burst damage. Yeah, and yeah, the all really and the movement happening. Oh, what's a cute uh, bow tie she has uh, on her head? Yeah, <laughs> cute I like the vampire version. <laughs> I'm on a Pepco. Three, two, one. This fight. wasn't how I saw this going. The only yeah, I'm with Pepco too, as he picks up heavy rockets, shotgun. And tries to trap Dunches on the uh, small armor at rockets, but it's not happening. Dunches is having none of this. You see me a bit trapped there over here. No, he he can. F that was uh, an easy es escape. Dunches is still on it though. It's a good rocket and yeah, go. gives better rockets back. We'll lose the mega hole. 
The question is how much damage you can put up and not much. A heavy machine gun is really devastating. Ah! Oh, yeah, is. oh, when he gets caught out? Oh! What an orb! The, uh, he switched that around. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Mad oh. from last round, but oh my god! Into One minute and three frags done already. Into direct rockets. Watch. What a finish! Now we will see a trade of the items. Ah, and Pepco manages to to not hit him there. But with that rocket. Oh. Oh my god! I heard you and from even this world. Even score here with a couple of perfect rockets. Pe Pepco might want to go back and get this. Yeah, get it. Yeah, he also needs some high health. My life oh, he can steal this. Oh, oh he doesn't. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, come on. Out. Oh, my goodness. And he actually pushed through that? That and was defensive rocket did close to 300 damage there. <laughs> And he gets a uh, <laughs> frag with a shotgun. Yeah, because he frag. He needs those health bubbles, though. Yeah, that was rockets for homing missiles, that's for sure. He is close to get... Oh, no, he's not close to get all sick from his totems again. He catches a rocket. Sanchez still looks an awful lot healthier. Um, he's found Pepco, but... Pepco manages to bail himself out. Now yeah, Pepco was a little bit early there, Mirga Health, and uh, he pays with it for his life. Oh, Danchezza is hunting right now. Click, click, you got no rockets, dude. Uh, and then just him. Oh, he knows where he is. But. Oh, he got three rockets. <laughs> <laughs> Major items. He got the breakfast 53 final going right here, right now. It's the first map. I oh, know the first map went to. Uh, Ooh, what a combo. To, uh, Pepco. Right now. Uh, but now, Sanchez, he wants it. He wants it back. That's for sure. That's the second time Danchez hit a perfect. Or combo. Oh, good rocket, good rocket. This time is not looking yeah. though. Hey man. Oh, Pep... Why is Dantes going backwards? He has better stack. Had better stack. Good. Yeah, I think uh, Pepco needs to bait the orb first and uh, go from there. Yeah. The orb turned around. Um... Oh, oh, buddy. It's gone out there. Well done, just twice now. And yeah, well, there he just forced him to be in spots. And good. And ah, there's nowhere to go, Pepco. Proud. And again, what a what great a play. And Pepco is super happy. <laughs> yeah, he is. Pepco is quite chatty in those duos. Yeah, he is. Now I see an LG. Yes, I've control back. A uh, cute little rocket jump in. Oh, Ooh. that one was. Jumped, walked right into that rocket. Yeah. Got punished a bit for, for taking it. But <laughs> I think that just don't mind much right now. This will be too late for the heavy armor. It's bot. <laughs> Hot. <laughs> or does it uh, <laughs> <gotta give> you <laughs> does it translate to something else? From the orb. Ah, yeah, he is. That is your last good, good one. Five minute warning. We got it. We're getting rig road by the TTS. It's a smart rig road that one. Uh, I like that. Sanchez is putting. Like, his orbs to perfect use, like, it feels like none of them did less than 100. Oh, nice rocket. Dances are showing off a little bit right now, guys. Watch. Oh, he really misses the orb. Wow. Rare occasions. He was riding on that rocket almost. 
That seems like Pep goes raging a bit when he's not going his way. Yeah, he is spamming a little more than he used to. Should probably get a little more control and he might get it back. We know that he is able to. To our aim, that's over there. It's not happening right now. And Pep could call GP on that too. Yeah, so oh, we have a tie. Yeah, that, that's uh, that's some breakfast. So we got two early four feet fates of the first two maps. Two kind, now, of, two kind of race quits, yeah. And now we see the first <laughs> yeah. time of Blood Run today, it feels like. Yeah. It will be the deciding map. We actually end up on Blood Run. DK versus Troc. We'll... Like, that sounds a lot to me that was... Uh... Yeah, the Dead. Death Knight pig again here. This would be interesting. Wait, but Pepco's Death Knight. Not Strog. Um. Champions. Okay, well, looks like we'll restart. Not. No. Yeah. Okay. It's just a game that's slow. Yeah. Death Knight versus Anarchy. No, no. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I scrolled. <laughs> I scrolled too, too much up, I think. Death Knight versus Strock on set TN in the final here. Last map. 1-1 one, one so far. Yeah, and, and right. Dentius uh, lost no, one blood run uh, in the last... Uh, Breakfast, so Pepco uh, has an in here for uh, taking the breakfast, but he uh, <laughs> still has to beat Dentius, sir, on this map. I'm starting off with Dentius, who is Me too. a preferable good spawn. Oh, he does some great damage on uh, Pepco, yep. who, who doesn't do any return damage. So. Not That's all right. too much information. On the oh. <laughs> he did hit him though. There was there was a mistake from Pepco. Oh, yeah. And then there's a take the first. Watch. Pepco becomes a take one. Oh, Dungeon starts super quick right now. Yeah, the spawns in and two kills already. Yeah, <laughs> the spawns are uh, really predictable. So it's uh, oh, oh, up to Pepco to um, to survive after he spawns. That that Pika was actually too bad, but Pepco is quite. Good sick. Yeah, Dentius doesn't have any armor to his name. But he makes the best out of it and makes the fight very close and picks up a 50 shot at the blood pool. Yeah, I think Pepco is in the position to uh, take at least one item. Oh, but uh, Dentius scares him away. Ooh, if he hit that rail, that would have denied him the heavy. Dungeons can be quite happy with the situation he's in right now. Yeah, he's got a nice little lead here to begin with. <laughs> oh, careful. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, those tribals! <laughs> that tribal hurts. I don't think Pepco can afford to rocket jump, but he does anyway. He does anyway, yeah. Oh, I think he damaged uh, himself with the flame strike there. That was so. Balls on Pepco, man. Wrong weapon from Dungeons. Oh my god, that rocket! 
Oh. Yeah, he just holds the angle and clicks when he's uh, in the moves yeah, in his crosshair. If, if Pepco predicts that or reads it, Sanchez dies. Both have no armor. Dunches picked up a 50 shot now. Impressive. Ah, Pepco can't can't go oh, for heavy. He goes for heavy instead. Yeah, yeah, I was just gonna say he can uh, set his speaker after him. And he does so, but uh, unsuccessfully. <laughs> Folks, the death knight in the butt a little with his railgun. <laughs> Pushes him over the ledge. Now we see Dante's pretty confident in the control again. Oh, good reaction, but slightly too slow. Yeah, but it is a big one. Sanchez needs to hurry a little. Yeah, okay. So he secured position on the mega health as well, and he basically switched around the timings a little. Nothing too much. Just mixing it up a bit. Yeah. Oh, the Dentures hurt uh, Pepco there. Yeah. Pepco's dead. Oh, oh, right. Pepco reads it to perfection and gets the first rocket off. Oh! <laughs> Some nice solo damage. So are we getting uh, a floating Pepco here? Uh, Dentures doesn't have enough uh, LG ammo. Good time. Nice time. Nice time. Nice time. The, just that he uses the Pika. Oh, no float, but a bit of damage. That is no rock. Oh. Yeah, he was out of LG ammo, so. It almost turned it. So, yeah. Uh, Pepco uh, is in a position. Uh... Five minute warning. To get some frags here. Oh, but he might be greeted uh, with his shotgun if he would go through. Impressive. Got rest from Pepco. Oh, 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 those nails there. Uh... Yeah, they can't push in to finish the frag. Pep... Yeah, the mega health saved him. Yeah, and if Pepco hit the rail, we, we have a, a one for our game on our hands. <laughs> and we see <laughs> another version of the Tokyo Drift speaker again that does Dun nothing. Yeah. And Dunches doesn't have any armor, so uh, in an LD G fight he will certainly lose. He does some exit damage. And Pepco spots the small armor. Let's deny it. Some information for Pepco. Oh, Pepco is giving us this impression of how it feels like for the enemy when you don't get any small armors and now Dutchess has. Yeah, yeah, he might. Uh... Ah, uh, no, Dentures uh, didn't fall for it. Pepco did a fake rocket jump. But Dentures didn't linger in the uh, nail room. Now he does, but yeah, Pepco doesn't have an angle anymore on him. And we will get, it will be denied another small... Will he? No, Pepco doesn't do it. Oh, buddy, got red! Oh, nice flick. Yeah, got rail from Pepco, and it was the the first rocket from from Dunches was pretty good as well, but he had to go out after that. Now Dunches not only has not the, has lost the control entirely for the past few minutes, he has no weapons as well. Just Three picked up. Rail. Oh, nice one. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't fall down with him. If he did, he could do a lot of LG damage. Oh, now he gets him in the nail room, but yeah. 
There's some nice defensive damage from Denture. And he doesn't have that much ammunition. Two rockets, a few cells of LG, and a bit of rail. Well, uh, that's that's the loss of control for Pepco. He forced it too much. But he will get the mag uh, heavy anyway. Oh, those tribals. And then tribald happens. Wow, the balls on this guy. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't give a shit, he just goes. Yeah, but he also needs this this frag right, so it's it's a good decision there. Hey, you can hear him up there. Good rail. Yeah, the... From both of them. Oh, good catch! Oh, oh and those... Those oh, flames no balls. That's how he used them. I just had a good spawn on the LG and I don't know if he decides to, but yeah, it looks like he's going to decide to contest the or pick up the mega health and gets rail and now only rockets are, are missing for him to be. Yeah, ready to and Pepco also doesn't have any armor to contest for uh, for the heavy. One minute. Oh, but Dunches isn't there. Oh, this is the this is this, the moment where, where Dunches has to do the right reads. Oh, wow. And he crushes the speaker. Now Pepco is in a good state of stack again, but he has no small armor again. Yeah, he thinks um, about the Mega. Oh. Good rocket from Dunches. Oh, I also actually thought uh, uh, Dunches was baiting it, but... He didn't do any damage at the Mega. I think we're looking at an overtime here, huh? Yeah. yeah. So we can test the new feature. Thanks, Pep and Dunches. <laughs> yeah, indeed. This is a... Uh... <laughs> 10 seconds. Oh, Ooh, that rocket did, didn't do any damage. Oh. Here you go. Overtime in the deciding map of this grand final. Dunches always position, positions himself at um, tribal when he has control because he yeah. wants to deal damage before picking up heavy every time. It's a good place to stand and you ain't control. Yep. Yep. Pepco is setting him a trap. Pepco's got the mega health. Or has he? Yeah, he has. Yeah. And a small that. armor will appear uh, right now. Oh, oh, dead Shusher! Shotgun shot! Oh, no! Oh my god, a dead Shusher takes it with a rocket! What? Oh no! <laughs> Pim Pim. Oh. A Dungeon's defense is title again. Wow, my god. <laughs> what an ending. <laughs> Yeah, I hoped a little for Pepco, but oh my god, but look at that damage from Dentius as well. Yeah, yeah. Dentius yeah. takes it again. Yeah.